it's Christina with Greek in the South. Welcome to my cooking show. I am tonight for dinner. My husband and I are going low carb for a little bit of dieting and health. So um, usually on Fridays we like to have fun food. So the fun thing is about this is that we're going to be making low carb stuff now, so it gives me a little bit of a chance to do something new in the kitchen. So tonight I am making um, Mexican stuffed bell peppers. I'm super pumped about it. We've never had them before. I've never cooked them before. So I'm hoping that I don't burn anything. Okay, so I have ground beef cooking here and it's almost browned. No, nothing fancy happening, just, um, in the skillet and I'll just, just like you would taco or, or anything like that. I'm going to grab this over here. Okay. So these are my bell peppers that I'm going to be using. Where's my knife? Over here. And um, I debated on how to cook, how to slice these. Usually when I cook Italian bell peppers, I slice the top off and cook them that way, but I think I'm gonna do these a little bit different, actually. I think I'm going to do them, like, long ways. And I think that that will be something a little different. I also like when they have little um, stem shows. I don't know why. So, just like that, I'll grab a spoon. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Texas, and I'm a Greek American. My mom is Greek. My dad is Italian, and I'm a little bit of German in there. And but I mostly grew up cooking and making Greek food with my mom and my grandmother, and making Italian food with my mom and my grandmother, and. Um, really became you know, part of what I love. So, it's some of the best memories that I have are in the kitchen, right? Like, even if you don't love cooking, just, I'm gonna try this with my hand, I think it's better. Um, you know, sometimes have you ever like walked into somebody's house or for dinner or like Thanksgiving and you think to yourself like, I love the way it smells in here. It smells like my grandma's house, it smells like my mom's. So I think it's important. So I'm getting the most of this white stuff out. This one's a little funky, so I'm gonna cut that out. Okay. Now my um, ground beef is pretty much done. I have some taco seasoning here, which sometimes I make this on my own, like, you know, individuals and then sometimes I just buy like you know the packets that you can buy. I had a packet so that's what I'm using. I'm just going to stir this in here real good. Um, this is really lean beef but if you didn't have lean beef I would say to strain it and add a dab of water. I'm going to add a dab of water here. probably a tablespoon to get that flavor going and looks good smells good already delicious okay that looks good now I'm going to add a can of black beans um the some people love to do their own beans. I just, I just, I have two kids. I'm not trying to soak stuff overnight. Whatever. Okay, just mix that in real good. And I'll let you guys see what that looks like. Just smells amazing. Looks delicious. I'm pretty pumped about it. Okay, now let me grab a towel. And the thing is about, I also love cooking with my kids, which hopefully soon I'm gonna have them on a little bit. Okay, 
So I'm going to stuff these with this mixture now. I'm gonna have some left over. That's what I want to do because um, we will eat this for lunch tomorrow. And my kids can put it in tacos and always good to have leftovers. And I just put that in there like that. Perfect. And this in here, I get a little messy. That's, that's real life people. So put in the comments if you have made anything like this before. I have made lots of different kind of stuffed peppers, but never Mexican. I feel like I'm gonna like them. I'm also gonna cook them in a way that I've never cooked stuffed peppers before, but I'm excited for that. We'll see how they, you know, it will give me, I like to cook things different ways so that we can find out which one is best. Okay, this one's a little bit more open. That other one was kind of a weird shape. You know how you get like a weird shaped bell pepper? Annoying, you know, it's fine. Okay, just shove that all in there. I, I shove it pretty packed tight because I have already cooked this. There's some recipes that you make that you don't cook the meat and you let it cook inside. I'm not doing that. So what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these just like this into the air fryer. Usually I would bake this, but it's not in the air fryer. And see how they go. I'm gonna put it on without anything else on it, just like this, and let the bell pepper kind of break down a little bit and see how that works, how that goes. And then swim away in the apron, wipe your stuff off, okay. And this goes, I'm gonna put it on for 400 and at 360. Or 360 for 12 minutes, sorry. Okay, so while that's happening, I'm gonna separate this. So I'm gonna put that in at the end. Okay, by the way, if you guys don't have these um, cutting boards, I'll link them down below. They're amazing. These are by Emeril Lagasse. I, I don't even know if he sells them anymore, but they're the easiest, best cutting board you will ever have. It's so easy. I can like scoop and put in and it's just, it's thin. It doesn't take up a million, you know, space in my cabinets. It's just, it's perfect. Okay, so that's my countertops, the whole shebang. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna cut this onion while our bell peppers are cooking and kind of get the rest of our meal prepped. Um, I'm hoping everybody likes this. because you know, Definitely had some meal fails in the past from trying new things. Who starts a YouTube channel with a dish that they've never uh, cooked before? Interesting. So, we're going to just cut a little bit of these onions and this will be a side heller like ugh. there go the eyes okay so we're just going to cut just dice a couple of these in and this will be something that the kids and my husband can put on the side okay so there's a lot of like ways to not make your eyes cry when you have one of these let me know if you know one um, some people say to put it in the fridge. I haven't found that that works, so I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so we're going to let those cook, and I'm going to um, get the kids ready for dinner and check back with you in a second. Okay, so bell peppers are done. They're, you know, soft, but not too soft. You want them to fall apart. And they are... Um, like crunchy on the end. It looks good. Okay. I mean, we'll see how this works. I mean, it looks really good. We're going to bake them also, though, because I want to add some stuff that I don't think will go. So this is a two-step process, but this thing is so easy to clean that I don't really mind that. Now, you could just bake them all to begin with and be done with it, but I did want to try this. Okay. So that's in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my onion 
If you have somebody in your house that doesn't like onion, which I feel like is a lot less. I'm gonna put this onion on top, just like that. And then I'm gonna take this whole can of salsa, any kind of salsa will be good, whatever your favorite is, we like this kind. I'm just gonna kind of dump a good portion of this on the top. So if you do wanna bake these all the way through, which I think would be fine. I don't know that, it, that air frying made that much of a difference, but we'll see. So if you do wanna bake them, I would bake it first like this and don't put these on yet, and then you know, it's like a two part thing. I'm going to take some um, cheese. This is like a you know, Mexican blend. That's my favorite when I cook Mexican food. I'm going to take a huge handful just on top like that. On top like that. Can you guys, can you guys see that? And then on top like this. And on top like this. That looks good already. Um, put some seasonings on this if you wanted to, some cumin or whatever. And I'm just going to put those in the oven for 350 until, since they're pretty much, they, they are cooked, I'm put them in the oven for 350 until everything kind of gets bubbly and uh, melt it. Let you guys see how it goes as soon as it's done. Okay, so these came out amazing. They look amazing. They look, they smell delicious. They look amazing. I mean, who misses bread, you know? So now what I'm gonna to do to finish them off real quick is I'm just gonna take some of my sour cream here. Just a dollop of that. Put it on this one. Just a quick little, whoops. Just a dollop of sour cream. And spread my cilantro around. And that's dinner, my friends. Looks great. Thanks for watching.